the house. It's a lamp. R really? Oh, <laughs> really? It's a very real. Oh, okay, so I can't do anything with it. There's nothing behind this painting. It's a triangle made of cubes going in circles. I better stop looking at this before I strain something. Okay. It's a triangle, but it's going in. Okay, it's the same thing. Okay, um. What is that? Wine opener? What am I supposed to do with a freaking wine opener? I can't do anything with that. Stack of thick. It's pretty dark in here, but I'm positive these are all the same book. Really thick ones, too. I doubt Lampard will miss a few. They're gone! Oh no, wait. Looks like there used to be. Oh, uh, it's just. Okay. Piano? It's just the same key? Oh! Does it play a song? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Piles and piles of books. I can barely make it out, but it looks like there's a lot, of, like the other painting over there. Okay, you can't go over there. Okay, okay, fireplace. That would really light up this room. The books. Okay, light it up. There, those books should make for a nice fire, and I, I just need to light it. How am I supposed to light it? With the sun! The guy should has. Okay. Can I grab, like, the lamp? Warm up the paper? Enough to make it go. Okay, no. It's a lamp. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Come on! Wow, these old books really did the trick. What is that? Oh, nice rug! Wait a minute, there's something on... Uh, oh! It's a trap door. Okay. No handle, or even a place to put one. Can I just open it? Really? That opens up a trap door? Whatever. Let's go downstairs. Holy crap, I'm kind of scared. Something's gonna pop out. Looks like floor plans for the house with a lot of handwritten notes. It seems like Lampert is playing a lot of renovation. Rev renovations. Sorry. What is this? That's a, a lot of wine for just one guy. Um. Okay. What the fuck? Tanning bulb. I guess even scientists want to look their best. Ha! I've never seen anything like this. It looks like a diving ball or a submarine. Very science y. Tanning bulb. Can I, like, replace it? This bulb was way too big to fit inside it. Uh, okay. What's that on the paper? No? Um. They're blueprints for the time machine. I don't exactly have an engineering degree, but it says it on the drawing. Okay. There's a trash can there. Man, I've been in this job way too long. I can't even walk by a trash can anymore without checking it to see if it's empty. Okay, I guess I can't do anything in here. So... I can't. You'll think that would work, but it somehow just doesn't. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't even see there was a door there. And of course it's locked. Of course. Can I go back upstairs? Oh my god, this... Um... Can I put it up there? No. Up there? No. Up there? Up there? Nope. last light and it works holy smokes that's bright hey my time machine is working again oh <gasps> no way oh my god there's an axe in there i can't reach it from here though those are some tough vines okay it's okay so i'm supposed to It's an empty barrel. Okay. It, it looks like some kind of water collection system. Looks like it's been out for quite a while. A dry twig. I guess I put stranger things to good use. A twig? What am I supposed to do with a twig? Can I burn it? Hmm, the fire isn't catching. I need some way to make it a bit more flammable. The fire can't burn a dry twig. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Huh, this is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Oh wait, it's one of those extinguishers that need to be filled up with water for- Ah. Oh, that thing up there. Um, all filled up with water. Now, what am I supposed to do with it? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. Holy crap! Mm, get the lid off. It's full of oil. Considering how many times in my life I'm depending on holding on to stuff lately, the last thing I want is greasy hands. Okay. It's a small dark room over here. Red bulb of folding equipment, the lever, and it's got everything. Wow, man, this is really something. According to those other blueprints, this is Lampard's first version of the time machine. It looks completely abandoned, though. <clears throat> Okay, I need the oil drum for something. Uh, I'm just guessing. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, wait, I have to... There we go. Okay. Oh, the fire now! Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, okay, whatever, I had, had it in mind, I uh, better go... What am I supposed to do with the twig that's on fire? Um... Could it be the vines? Can I burn it down? Let's see. Holy crap! Whoa, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, that's what the screens was for. Phew, <laughs> it's out. I think I'm done playing with fire for today. <clears throat> it was stuck in there pretty good, but I got it. Okay. Oh. Okay. The axe. Kind of like breaks stuff down now. 
I broke Lambert's door and burned his books, made a mess of his floorboards, nearly burned down his house, and God knows what, what else. He doesn't know. Okay, so I'm not supposed to break anything with it. I'd better not judge him by the vengeance of these. Some of these, I'm pretty sure Lambert cares a lot more about the wine than my life. Wait. Oh, oh, I forget. Oh. This isn't here before. Okay. Okay. It's locked. And didn't the store used to be wood? Can I break that? Oh my god! Oh, the fish! Somebody taking good care of this fish. Lamper has bit them around here. He looks a lot like that fish I fed to the monstrous outside. Monstrosity outside. Um. It's a lava lamp. Man, I love these. What am I supposed to do with the lava lamp? Yeah, what am I supposed to do with a lava lamp? Do I like... Mix it with this thing? I seriously doubt Lampert stopped to put a wall socket in here. So I need a wall socket. I don't see one. Let's check this room. I don't see one. Okay. Let's check this room before I go upstairs. The only wall socket is that one. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one right here. Let's see if this works. Oh, it does. Wow, trippy. Hey, there's a lot of here. This? A wine bottle. A wine. That's what. Uh... Okay. What? what? Oh my god, I, oh my god, oh my god. Whew, I feel like something's gonna pop out. Holy crap! Stop right there! Whoa, wait, I'm Mr. Lambert, sir, it's me, Joe. I don't know you. What are you doing in my house? You, you, you sent me here, remember? I've done no such thing for an intruder. You're not the bro you're not very bright. You know that for all the commission commotion you've caused getting in here, you might as well have bought a bulldozer. Now you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're doing here, so or so help me to so help me God I'm pulling this trigger and I'm sending you on your way. Five. I I I, I was sent here four by a you three you told me to find you, I to warn you about the end of the world. Two, you were old you, with white hair and you sh got shot and oh god, please don't shoot me, Mr. Lamper. This, you gave me this. It's an inter or something, chrono, it's a time machine. I gave you that? Yes. I've never seen anything like it. But on the back, that's my family's signet. I made this it's simply magnificent i gave this to you why who are you name's joe sir i i'm a, just a janitor at the archon building i found you in a room with a big round door in the basement labs this morning and you were dying you said you would come from 40 years in the future to stop the end of the world I guess I was the only one around, so you gave me this and told me to find you and you and tell you all this, and I've been there, the future, I mean, a bunch of times, and you were right, Mr. Lampert, everyone's gone. My god, so it did come to pass. They really did it. Those goddamn greedy bastards. I told them this would ha- Wait. I was dying? How? 
you said you've been shot. I actually had to find you at uh, the morgue to get this address. Shot? By whom? No, wait. Don't say anything else. You succeeded in finding me, which means anything you tell me from this point on could alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep. The less I know, the better. So, you've seen the future? What did you see? It's like a bad dream, sir. Everyone's gone. Buildings are coming apart. It's all just quiet. What happened, Mr. Lampert? It's Dr. Dr. Lampert. And considering all the effort you just went through to find me, not to mention bearing witness to the horrific outcome of the biggest outbreak, the biggest breakthrough in the history of science, I suppose I owe you some kind of explanation. What the fuck? You're gonna burn a cat? I was 24 when I hired him by Ancorn and Athena. As it was called back then, Athena was one of the many weapons R&D companies formed during the Second War. Unlike the R&D companies that had retooled, retooled themselves to pursue peacetime activities uh, after the war, Athena had made enough money to continue chasing the bi next big thing in defense technologies. They were betting the farm on post-war Soviet expansion, rising the level of government perennia to create a lucrative market for esoteric weapons series search. I'd say they've made the right bet. Still a theoretical physicist at MIT, <laughs> my thesis on these possibility of time travel via dimensional membranes got published shortly after I was hired in 1961. Company heads were so impressed, they gave me a team and a budget. Development exceeded even my own expectations, and after only six years, we had the first primitive version of the time machine up and running. Our first successful trials involved sending simple projects into the future with time returned. But with Ancon running out of money, that was all the company bigwigs needed to secure a big fat contract with the Department of Defense. Apparently we sold them an idea that the technology could be used to go back in time and strangle communi communism in its cradle. The reality, of course, was that it couldn't. Due to the laws of casual, ca causality, you can't travel back in time beyond the point where time travel was invented. The sooner or later, we'd have to explain that to our benefactors. When they started pushing for progress reports, anchor management had to come clean, but instead chose to ease government concerns by claiming the technology could be used to bring back advanced weapons from the future. But this too was a lie. At this point we already had our first of many human trials and we knew there would be no weapons. In fact, our result were as terrifying as they were baffling. Time pilots returned frenzied and confused, raving about empty streets and human remains. At first we assumed that the city had suffered a Soviet attack in the near future and had been evacuated as the result, but we, but as we pushed on further the terrible reality became clear. Time pilots started returning fatal fatally ill, fatally ill, dying with a dot a day or two from painful convulsions. Convuls convulsions. <laughs> Some never returned. We lost several pilots, machine prototypes, and other equipment. When the first contamination erupted in the lab, we were completely unprepared, losing three lab technicians to what we later identified as an incredibly aggressive airborne virus. What the fuck? Although we weren't equipped to handle biohazards of this magnitude management, 
and insisted we contain the and study it to keep our pilots and the virus alive long enough to study. We co-opt co-opted experimental Cairo technology from other project Lazarus and established a makeshift virus lab. Once again, the Bibwigs managed to spin our setbacks into the success story of our Department of Defense, now claiming that the virus could be cultivated for use of biological weapon. The team threatened to resign, but outrage was swiftly quenched by promise, promises of massive salary increases of stock options. It didn't take the bribe. It witnessed, I'd witnessed the lethal efficiency of the virus firsthand. I knew there was only one way this was going to end, so I handled, handed in my registration and set up shop here, out here. For over a year, I've been working to recreate the technology to bring me back in time to prevent mankind's extinction from ever happening. And now you've here, the harbinger of doom at my doorstep, wearing a boiler suit. Who could have imagined that Judgment Day would begun, begin like any other Monday in May? In any case, unform, unfathomably as it may be that you were able to bring this information to me, knowing it is only half the ba battle, preventing the outbreak will require more than just your tenacity me wait what yes i'm afraid i must rely on you one more time you must go back to alchan archon and prevent the outbreak no no that's um i mean i'm really honored and everything but believe me you're the last person in the world i want to entrust with this and i mean that quite literally but this but by this time tomorrow, the entire city will have succumbed to chaos, panic, and death. And you're here now, and you're all I got. Wait, but what about you? Why can't you fix this, Doc? Don't you have the plan? I can't go myself, because that would break law and causality. The only reason you are here to warn me now is because I was there to send you. And only the reason I was there to send you is because I was able to bring my work to fruition here. But we've got no time to waste. It's the only way. You told me you found me the, this morning, correct? Yes, but that, mean, that means I failed to stop it and the outbreak has already begun. The time pilot for today's trials have must have brought the virus back from the future, which then somehow got out to the containment chamber and spread. That pilot is patient zero. I need you to destroy the supercomputer system controlling the time machine. All the research data is stored there too. You must destroy it before the time machine departs. I'm reconfiguring your device to send you back to one day earlier. This should allow you ample time to return to Ancon and get inside. On the other shore from here, about 500 yards down the road, is a red stop. You will find a van there, fueled and ready to go. Oh, I already have a ride. Which won't be there yesterday, you ninny. Now stop interrupting me. One last thing, and I need you to listen carefully, because this is very, very important. Make sure you do not meet the earlier version of you. Why? What will happen? No one knows for sure. It's one of the conundrums not yet accounted for. There are theories, of course, none of them pleasant. Now let's get you ready. Oh my god! Holy crap. How did I get myself into this? I nearly got killed trying to reach Dr. Lambert, thinking he had a plan. And then it turns out it's me. I'm the plan. At least I don't have to walk back. This van's not as cool as the ambulance, but it has its charm, and it sure was nice to have him to pack me a lunch. <laughs> I wish he'd pack a can opener for the beans, though, and some gas for the Bunsen burner. 
but I'm sure I'll think of something. I've got several hours of driving ahead of me, after all. I'll, it'll be almost morning before I get to Alchon. Archon. I just hope I have enough time. God damn. This is getting so intense.